YouTube, what's going on, baby? It is your boy Ron Real, aka Double R, back in the building, back with another video, back with another product review. Today, we're going to be looking at the new air freestanding 43 count dual zone wine cooler. Y'all hang tight and stay tuned. All right, today, finally doing a product review of the wine refrigerator that I use. I know most people that watch me watch me for cigar reviews, but you guys know that I also do pairings with rum, bourbon, scotch, and also red wines. Big fan of red wines. Lately, I've been drinking a lot more of them. New Air reached out to me, saw some of my previous videos, figured that this would be a fitting product to send over to me. Of course, I said, send the unit on over and I'll take a look at it. I've had this unit now for about two weeks, really impressed with it. I think this is a very good unit. As you can see, it has the same kind of breakdown as the cigar humidor I have sitting right next to it. Nice clean digital panel on board. Now, what is awesome or what is really good about this wine refrigerator, which you might want to consider, it is a dual zone, meaning that you have two different areas. The top zone here is considered the cold zone. This would be considered the warmer zone. Top zone allows you to have temperatures in the range between 41 degrees Fahrenheit, 54 degrees Fahrenheit. The bottom one does 54 all the way to 64. Now, most people may not know, but your red wines, which is mostly what I'm drinking, your Petit Syrahs, Cabernet Sauvignons, Cabernet Francs, things like that, Malbecs, you want them to be at a, a higher temperature, so I usually will keep my red wines in the lower zone. Top zone, you can keep bottled water, I like to drink uh, port wine. You know, if you like to drink sparkling water, sparkling wine, things like that, white wines, those are gonna be in the top area for the colder section. So we'll go ahead and open this thing up and I'll tell you, or I'll show you more about it. So as you open it up, you'll notice it has a nice double pane glass here, which is nice because when you're storing your wines, you want your, your wines out of direct sunlight. The sunlight can kind of damage the wine and over time deteriorate it and kind of kill the flavor and the freshness of it. So you got your nice double pane glass, nice seal on this thing as well too as you open it up i have three racks up here three racks on the bottom i have another space for another rack down here as well too as stated earlier this can hold up to 43 bottles which is really nice this one here is pretty cool up top i don't have anything up, up top now but you guys know i don't really drink a lot of white wine so this will be more for where i'll have my mineral water champagne my porch stuff like that this is the shelf this black thing here is the the zone that's going to keep your your different zones at a different temperature. So, same thing here. Got your pull out racks. They pull out some. Come out for the where you hold the bottles. Just a really nice, really clean setup. Now, what's different about this compared to cigar humidors, all of your cigar humidors are gonna be thermoelectric. They do have thermoelectric wine refrigerators, but this one is a compressor. The benefit of the compressor is that it's a lot more efficient, meaning that once you plug this thing in, it cools down really quick. The thermoelectric version of this would take a lot longer to cool down, so that's a nice feature. It's also, thinking about it now, the, the downside of it though is it does make a lot more noise, and, I'm, and I say a lot more kind of sparingly. It's not like it's just loud where it's annoying, but you know, if you want to keep this unit in a bedroom or a quiet room, this is something you want to take into consideration. Every so often you hear the compressor kick on, I'll probably get some B-roll behind to show you the compressor. But this thing here, I'll have, I have a, some Cabernets here, some Pinot Noirs, got a mall back here as well too. Just a lot, it's a really nice unit. Now if we're looking on the, the panel here, everything is controlled by a lock. I can't do anything because the, it's locked. So what you do is you'll see the lock portion here you just hold these buttons for three seconds. You'll hear a beep and it allows you to run around with your settings. You can cut the light on, have a nice blue light there. You, can al you also have a power switch. Now one thing you want to know with this compressor, when you get it shipped into you, you also want to make sure that this unit is held upright for 24 hours before you plug the unit in. They just say just to make sure that the compressor is not going to malfunction or any problems are going to be had 
Make sure you have the unit sitting upright for 24 hours before you plug it in. Also, what you want to note too, if you ever lose power to the unit, you want to wait three to five minutes before you decide to plug it back in. So if you ever lose power or something happens, don't just plug it in right away. But overall, have the, you have the stainless steel door, you have the black body on this thing as well too. The voltage that this thing uses is 120 volts, so not the best, not the worst. I've seen units that go down to around 90 or so. This is about average with the 120 volt system. But overall, I've been very pleased with it. You know me, I'm not gonna try to store things for probably longer than five years or so. This is gonna be perfect for me. It allows me to be able to hold quite a few bottles. Again, I'll keep some things in the cooler section, champagnes. I like my ruby ruby ports, tawny port, ports, things like that. So, oh, I'll get some, I'll get some dimensions for you. So y'all hang tight and stay tuned. I'll tell you some more about the dimensions. All right, taking a pic, taking a look here at the, a little bit of the dimensions. New Era puts the dimensions at 22.24 as far as your depth. So you're at 22 and a quarter inches in depth. Your width is right at 19 inches, 18.9 inches wide, and then you have 33. 0.45 is in the height. So unlike a lot of units, you'll see where this part will be a little thicker, so that's pretty flush. So those are gonna be your dimensions. The product weight of this is right at 65 pounds. The, decibel, the noise decibel is 25 decibels. So again, not the loudest thing in the world, but something you wanna take into consideration if you wanna put it in a bedroom or somewhere that's a lot more quiet. These units being freestanding are also very good. If you want to, some a lot of people will put them in their build outs in their kitchen islands and things like that. You have the ability to be able to put that in the aisle or wherever you want to in your kitchen. A lot of people like to keep them in their kitchens. Some other information, of course, I, like I just said, the bottle capacity is 43 bottles, dual zone. It is a compressor, don't, uh, you do, or don't mistake that you do have thermoelectric options as well too. I'm actually happy about the compressor unit again because I was saying that it's able to cool faster and with me, not storing bottles up to like five to 10 years where a lot of people will put bottles away for a long time, I'm gonna be in and out this thing a lot, so it's gonna be nice to have that compressor where if I'm opening the door, it can get it back down to the temperatures that I need necessary, so. But again, thank you again. Oh, I wanna give a big shout out to New Air for sending me this unit. I think I'm gonna really enjoy this. This will be able to help kind of clean up my collection because I had a lot of bottles upstairs in my closet where it was dark at, just kind of things sitting around. So now I'll be able to keep a lot of my bottles a lot more organized. Very pleased with this. Also, if you're interested in getting a unit like this, Make sure you want to get a dual zone unless you're just really particular in like, oh, I only drink red wines or things like that. But I think the dual zones are a definite pro because you just never know with me. I drink mostly red wines, but I do like champagnes. I do like tawny ports, ruby ports, which when you have your sweeter wines, like white wines, sparkling wines, sparkling water, things like that, you want to serve those at a chill temperature. So you want to keep those around, you know, 45 to 48, 49 degrees. On your red wines, I like to keep them, I got mine around 60. You'll see most people storing them anywhere between 56, upwards of lower 60s, it just depends. But you like to serve, or you should serve your red wines at room temperature. That's when you're gonna get the most optimal taste. And the tannins on a lot of these bigger wines aren't gonna overpower you if you are serving them too cold. This unit here runs for right at $4.99. I'll have a discount link below that'll give you a 10% off code on this as well too. Again, not, might not be something you might be considering, but I think you should because not only can you store wine in this, but you never know, you might wanna have water, drinks, things like that. This is still a good unit for that as well. Wanna give a big uh, big shout out to New Air for sending this unit to me again. Thank you, this has been the New Air Freestanding 43 Bottle Count Dual Zone Wine Refrigerator. And with that being said, y'all know the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment, and don't forget to be driven, never motivated. We will catch you on this next one, peace.